Hey Pack and Wolf here, back for Vin- I said no, I said hey Pack and Wolf here. Hey Pack, this is Wolf here, back for Venix episode of Alan Wake. Let's go now. Okay. Hey old lady. Let's move. There's no shadows in here, right? What were there? <laughs> See? Shadows. Okay, unless this isn't well at them. Let's go. Cutscene mode. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because section 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. It's a bit of paper. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. It's Alan, a good thing then. Seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker. Ah, oh, remember that? Clicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. That's pretty cool. Storyception. <laughs> story in a story. To her now. I can finish this. Hoorah. End of the episode. I probably should end the last episode, I see. <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, let's get going once I can skip it. And <laughs> episode five. And I'm weak. Let's do this. Story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the seventies. You will go no further. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Departure. Dun dun dun. Two years ago. Sweet. So that means everyone's a story basically, because Thomas Lane wrote him to citizens, he wrote him to Wow, so I just noticed what it is. He wrote himself into citizens, that means. I had a hangover. My head That's pretty cool paradox. Shoot, just drunk. Shoot, drunk. You better. I'm taking them. Now I can look like a boss. Put them on. Boss mode on. Uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Boss I mode. My eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. Okay. Where are my pills? Pills here. Om nom nom. Well, they're invisible. He they they didn't take the lid off, so must be pretty good pills. The pills worked fast. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. <laughs> Yeah, okay. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. What machine? Cool, cool, deep, cool weapons. M9s. Um, wait. Is that if that's a shooting trophy? Yeah, he said he's never shot before. Or even have a gun. Must be Alice.
Fine, let's go watch the show then. I'm watching a video in a video. Dun dun dun. Get on there. Deem to. Oh yeah, I forgot. <clears throat> Most people leave their TV on standby, don't they? I actually turn mine off properly. Let's focus. I see you, Joker. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Case. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> mm. Seriously, though, seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life. Lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing on How long is this? I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treated? Stop asking questions. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Please, stop watching yet. I'll get a can. Now what? Um, hey, honey, did you watch the show? Enough of it. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. Where is she? You want an aspirin or something? Are you gonna yeah, stay with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep. I'm now. stuck on you. Sun boss mode glasses. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. It happened two years later. Ah, it took a two years for the tour to finish. Okay. Bright fools the present day. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Calder Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Why? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Yeah, it's going. Good luck, Al. See you later. He didn't even say thanks for the help. You'd have died without those two. Boss walking out. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flip the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Calder Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Okay, yeah, sorry, I was just lost in the scenery. I really like the scenery. 
I've always been a Siri fan, natural Siri stuff. I've always been a really big fan of it. Alone, I just like the looks stuff. Daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not Amazing. to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream. Drop me. Change. Um, my shotgun. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped it's in a cold night. I'm staying in that car. Head, gone mad from grief over yes. Alice's death, like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. Oh yeah, um, in England you drive on the left hand side of the road, not the right. I think it's the left, isn't it? Uh, yeah? I don't know anymore! <laughs> I don't know what side of the road we drive on anymore. Oh, stop it. Um, whatever, I'll drive in the middle. Find off. Okay. The middle of the road is the best place to drive, you don't know which side to go on. Uh, I have to turn left, do I? Oh, I'm just gonna keep following the road. When, when in doubt, follow the road. I guarantee it's like annoying coffee mugs and um, Francis affected things. Damn, I couldn't break through. I bet I can guarantee it's like coffee pl um, things in those places back there. Uh, why is it always a car crash? No one's there. Okay. Hold on a second, I remember this. Stop doing that. This place. Doesn't it look from oh. How did that happen? So I only have I got into dark mode. And you. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. No. I mean, we only did that because like, I quickly did a really, really short, like, millisecond boost. Why is it so bright? Oh, it's actually headlights. I thought it was the Zen guy over his, his manuscript over there. I'll have to read that. Go, go, go. This place looks so familiar, like... Almost... No, it's not. Never mind. It's just that kind of like the place from the very beginning. Go that way, Cove. Okay. That doesn't the stop wake. presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was... Okay, basically, he's trying to kill me. No one can capture. I'm going full out kill. I'm taking your car. Hope to mind. But it's mine now. Meow. <laughs> I don't know how long we've been going for, episode minute wise, but I'm guessing about 10. I'll check next time I get to a point that looks good. Okay. I stole your car. See ya. I stole your car. I stole your car. Why am I singing? Kind of. Or chanting anyway. Bernie, Bernie. Target down, okay. Um, show you that way. Uh, back to clear. Let's check up there. I know I have to go right, I'm going to check up here. Okay. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, let's actually see, what, let's see why I came up here. Hopefully, there's some ammo. Yeah, there's a box over there, there's usually ammo in that. Nice wheeling jump. Parkour jump, sorry. It's kind of a stride jump thing, but it wasn't anything like a parkour jump, but it's close enough to be classed as something. Yeah, I'm checking there in a second. Box. Ammo. Batteries. Oh, there's a shotgun in there. Glad I stopped. Now I'll just go in there and steal it. Examine. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Where he's been drunk, I can do that. Oh, Emma, where's that? There it is. Okay. Whoa. So I don't expect that. Who talked? Someone talked. Where'd he go? There he is. Huh? 
can't undaunt us then. Can't undaunt us then. Why is he un undaunt us as well? Get inside! Wasted too much ammo already. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. I'd already checked. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We'd have been there. Yeah, it's a shotgun and the ammo. You know what? I'm gonna end the episode now, pack. See you later. Wolf out.